What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another deck critique here on uh, Magic Online, on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you're watching. And uh, if you guys want to have your own deck critique, definitely check out my Twitch or Patreon profile. The link are the links are in the description below, and uh, we can we can do that. And you can email me, and we can talk about it, and then I can play your cool deck, and you can support the stream, and everybody wins. And today we're looking at. Uh, <clears throat> this is submitted by Hajigulashi. The name he submitted it with was Steaming Pile of Donkey Crap. So that's pretty good. And what we do, we have eight uh, Hunted Witness slash Doom Traveler cards that make that make one ones when they die. This one makes a Soldier Token with Lifelink. This one makes a Spirit Token with Flying. So, similar but different. We also have two Raise the Alarm, four Wall of Omens, three Geist of St. Traft, because that dude's got Hexproof. How much to donate to Timeout Hajigoshi? About, probably like a dollar. One Timeout buck will do. <laughs> my, my grandfather gave me these cards. Uh, one, two Steal the Godhead, because it's kind of nice on Geist of St. Traff, making it both uh, unblockable and lifelinkal. Uh, you have Idyllic Tutor, which is literally just Worship number five, or a copy of Steal of the Godhead number three. Two Angel of Grace, interesting inclusion. And two Approach of the Second Sun, also interesting inclusion. So basically, I think you're just hoping to slam a Worship and then either win with Angel of Grace or Approach of the Second Sun. <clears throat> We also have two negate in the main deck just to make sure. We have a bunch of, like, see, this, these guys are to keep worship around. Shalai is also nice. It doesn't protect your worship, but it does protect your other creatures, so. And then you have two greater Oromancy to uh, protect your worship. Two selfless spirit to protect your creatures. Uh, or two renewed faith to gain life, I guess. I guess it digs further for a brooch, but that seems, I'm suspect. Two Dispel, one Ceremonious Rejection, two Negate. Or one, one extra Negate, because we have two in the main deck. Uh, two Million Click, and three Damping Sphere. So actually, not too bad. I did wonder about why we have these eight basics, because that seems like a lot. Um, I also wonder if there's anything we can add to the mana base. I, I feel like you just want four Celestial Colonnades. Like, it's just such a good win condition. I'm always going to I'm always gonna want four. Boseju is neat, because it lets you play Approach... <clears throat> And not have it countered, but I'm not sure if that's... Eh, maybe that's relevant. We can keep it. I'll, let, I'll allow it. Ah, oh, the mana base is based on what you had around the time. See, that makes more sense. That's good to know. These are always good facts to include. I'm going to take out one Plains and one Island. And I'm also going to add one more Field of Ruin. Because <clears throat> I think Field is just very, very good. And then... We're going to just we're just gonna run it. We're going to see what happens. Welcome back to Magic Online, ladies and gentlemen. Shut up and take my money. Oh. One one dollar for bands. One band dollar. One band buck. Let's go to Steaming Pile of Donkey Crap by Hajigulashi. And we'll see how it does. Or doesn't do. Oh, Magic Online, I missed you with your big fat windows and your... <clears throat> Oh, only I can time out mods. Oh, man. Hajigalashi's got you guys in a pickle. I bet it will do awesome. I'm hoping it does. Shut up and take my money. Five sex timeout Hajigalashi for this monstrosity. <laughs> for this monstrosity. I'm morbidly, cur I'm morbidly curious, but want to assuage my conscience by getting Hodge timed out for a sec. <laughs> All right. Well, that's uh, reasonable. So we could play this on turn one. Money. What's even happening? Double Hodge Gulash. <laughs> all right. See, all you got to do is threaten to time out the people who submit the decks. And then you just make a bunch of tips, which is pretty sweet. Good times. Good times. Um, I kind of just want to play this guy in turn one and then this on turn two. I think I'm okay with that. Oh, it's probably because it has... It probably because it has ass in it. That's pretty funny. Thank you. <clears throat> Sarge, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. That three-month badge. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, here we go. So we are just playing against elves. Do I block? Probably not. We can do better than that. Oh, they don't even attack. Well, all right, then.
Wow, this is a lot of Angels of Grace. This is almost as bad as when I donated to the telephone and you got plowed and Frank never sent it. He didn't. He didn't send that. You're right. <clears throat> I got the songs stuck in my head. Don't ever, don't ever talk to me or my second son ever again. <clears throat> okay, we're at a point where we're just going to play this. I'm going to actually keep it up because if they have collected company, I don't want to deal with that nonsense. So, we don't really need a Serum Visions here. This costs six. They have it. Ready? Ready? Put your thing in the garbage can. That's where it goes. What up, Jelly Phil Donut? I said to put it in the garbage can. That's where it goes. Put your land in the trash can. Trash can land. I mean, it's not your land. It's your collective company. I don't know why I said land, but... You know, magic's tricky. So, it's... You kind of want to... <clears throat> you, you just want to say words until they sound right. You know what I mean? What's Champions League? I don't even know what that is. Is that like some kind of sports thing? Is that like a soccer thing? That sounds like a soccer thing. Oh, I love soccer. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm a big soccer fan. I like playing with the soccer balls and the kicking the things. Did I just make fun of all the soccer fans? Dang. Football. You're right. You're right, actually. I called it the American version. Uh, we already have a football. Thank you very much. How does this deck... Does this deck have, like, Rex Sage in the main? If they don't, I don't know how they beat... A, a warship. I mean, they probably do, right? <clears throat> well, let's see what we get here. <gasps> I don't care about either of these, to be quite honest. And I'm probably just going to play this Celestial Colony here. Hope to survive for one more turn. And then windmill slam a warship. Like, do they have Rex Sage in the main deck? I can't imagine they do, but like, maybe they have like one. Because it's good. They don't seem to be playing a second color, or else they would have gotten it with the windswept teeth. <clears throat> Yeah, when I play Magic Online, I get to live my I get to live vicariously through my desire to pimp out my collection. Okay, well, there's a lot of guys and a lot of mana. It's also damage, so if they, I guess if they go like Shaman of the Pack or Shaman of the Wild, Shaman, Pack Shaman, I don't know what that card's called anymore. I think I blacked out. Shaman of the Wild Hunt, Wild Pack Shaman. Shit, I have no idea what that card's called. <clears throat> We also have Angel of Grace, so like if they do try to like shaman us out, we can go. Sha -na 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 -na. Yeah, Geralt, Master of the Wild Hunt, nailed it, nailed it. <laughs> That's exactly who we're talking about. How did you know that? So they have four, five, six mana right now. They can play Primeval Titan, but it looks like they have no black sources, right? Like you get Windswept Heath, you're gonna get an Overgrown Tomb or something, right? So. They also have one card, so they have to find. You can also just activate this and get another 
elvish clan caller. Shaman of the pack. The shaman of the pack. That is the sound angel of Grace makes on Arena. Sha -na 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 -na. Oh god, let's not do that. We almost, we almost had a man I had an accident there. I'm actually gonna play the Flood Strand and go get another hollowed fountain. They're both gonna come in to play tapped, so. I'd rather thin the deck a little bit. <clears throat> There's something funny about cracking open a pack and getting a shaman of the pack. This is that's the shaman of that pack when you open it. Here we go. They have one card. This is where they go court of calling. Reclamation Sage. <laughs> oh Lord. Unless they just activate this, which is fine. I think that's what they're doing. Which feels a lot better. Although if they do activate this, it might make it a little hard to uh, to do the thing. It's hard to deal with. I don't know if we can actually deal with it. Is the problem? We may have a traditional, an old, an old timey, uh, modern standoff here. <laughs> Someone adapts a simic card, and I put like the the gloop sound effect on. That, that seems popular. I'm sure. What could go wrong? Everyone would probably love that. Man, I was watching Arena, and then I watched MTGO, and it wasn't the same. But then there was a gloop sound effect, and it just felt really good. I felt like it was right. And cat noises. The cat noises are good. <laughs> Yeah, we're like six minutes ahead on the clock, which is weird because they haven't really done anything. Uh, oh god, they're just gonna have to. They're just gonna have Rex Age in hand. Okay, that's fine. I'm just like I'm just like terrified of Rex Age. <sighs> I'm about to bust. Okay, that doesn't. All right, you have no cards in hand. Oh, they're just gonna. Are they gonna? Are they gonna activate? Yeah, that's pretty scary. I should have killed this when I had the chance. The life gain is really going to be problematic because if they can gain like nine each turn. Oh, they're just activating that. Oh, this is much better. I don't think they know how worship works, right? If you control a creature. Are they like... <laughs> did they read this? I don't know what's going on. Oh, let's crack this now because we're not going to be able to crack it if we don't. Because we can't pay one life because we would die. All right, my dude. <laughs> I'll go to one. God, I hope. I'm like missing something. Watch me miss something. And they're like, oh, but wait, you have this. Boo. I, I can't wait for them to say GG in the chat. <laughs> they're like, uh, GG. And I'm like, no, dude. What are you talking about? Do you not read the card? What's going on? Uh, no blocks. That was a lot of damage you dealt. Or didn't deal. Oh, this is only two to activate. I always I always tap three. So we have four mana, so we can't cast an angel, but we can actually play a doomed traveler. Which makes me sad. We probably, probably should have played uh, the hollowed fountain here. I played the other land because I was like, oh, we'll have five left over after we do this because we get another land. We're only using two, but then we're still a little shy there, so. What's up, Case, my dude? Case, is it racist as when, as a Japanese person, you also do like a a derogatory Asian inflection in your chat? Is that I don't I don't know how, I don't know what the rules are for that. Uh, we won that game. 
All right, that was pretty okay. I don't think we care. I never... <laughs> okay, well, that's good. That's good, then. We're good. Okay, I'm pretty sure those L's are intentional, and I don't know. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even deal with you right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please stop. Oh, God, it's not okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, I think Greater Romancing can probably come in. The only thing we're really afraid of. Oh, my God, Case. <laughs> I can't. I need you to leave right now. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> I'll take out one hunted witness. No, don't, don't reeve. <laughs> it's only funny because you're Japanese. I don't want to laugh at it. I don't want to laugh at any of it. All right. Remember that time our opponent attacked into us? They put us to one and then they're like, well, I guess you got me. That's a card I can't deal with. And I was like, I know. I know, my dude. I will keep. I, for one, am completely offended. I don't think that's true at all. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a Michael Scott thing. That's actually hilarious. That is incredibly apt right there. Less creatures? I mean, I think you need fewer creatures. <laughs> Nerd. I think he meant the creature should be smaller. I think he means these are two twos. Just make them one ones. That's what we're talking about here. All right, let's do this jobby, and we'll play this jobby here. Oh, a negative one one. That's actually a really sad creature. I really just want a greater oromancy, so I feel good about playing this guy. Idyllic tutor. That is that's basically a greater oromancy. I think we'll keep both of these. I have, in fact, been gottomed. Wow. <clears throat> wow. All right, you got it. The Godomer has become the Godomed. I will take three damage from this Nettle Sentinel. No, you're not understanding. Make it wider this way. <laughs> like... All right, Kevin, I'll see what I can do. So next time we can greater Ormancy and then raise the alarm. I think we're I think we're wanting to do that. God, double greater Ormancy. What a What a way to win. Or we could have actually just played Geist of St. Traft and put a seal of the godhead on it. That is also not a terrible idea. Remember the time you got all four Warship and play versus humans and they played Detention Mage? Did that really happen? This is where Case would be like, no, that was actually me. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. Well, I don't think they're they're that far ahead. So we can go this guy. And wall of schmomans. Oh, that's nice, because the next time if we hit a land, we can play both of these. How nice. God, everything's just working out. So now you need two, two removal spells? Unbelievable. What a time to be alive, guys. Also, Geist of St. Traft. <clears throat> we do have to find a way to win the game. Oh, look, now they got a black source. Where did this even come from? That's crazy. Oh, Tranquility actually would work, yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, well, none of those actually kill a, an enchantment, so I think we're we're all right. I have a I have a Ramon song stuck in my head right now. <clears throat> okay, we're not talking about the the cards that deal with multiple enchantments, guys. God. We're just talking about the one for one enchantment rule. That's what we're hoping to to have to deal with here. One, two, activate. We have one, two, three. Now we're just gonna play worship here. Shroudles. All right. Well, we do need to hit a Steel of the Godhead. We also have two negates in the main deck, so. Oh god, what is it like? Okay, that's fine. That's okay. It's like you're playing, yeah, except it's not nearly as oppressive. And they can still attack. I'm not stopping them from attacking. We all have hope, but we all know they will always have it. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's unfortunate, but that is the way the magic cookie crumbles. The Rampage of the Crans. <clears throat> oh, my God. Big Gimp, if you hop in the queue, I will leave. We could lose to Shaman of the Pack for sure. Watch, this is where they put us to one and then they're like, oh, we'll activate. I mean, we're dead to a Shaman of the Pack anyway. It's, it's, it's two or one. It deals one damage for each elf, right? Two would be insane. So if they have Shaman of the Pack in hand, we're just dead, right? Well, yeah, so now we can only take five. I hope they play it now. Okay, just an Azuri. All right. Maybe they don't have it. They probably have it. Oh, dang it. That doesn't do it. Okay, okay, okay. Took my baby away. It took her away. Away today. This is a, uh, it's a Ramon song. Yeah, I don't think we need more creatures here. I think we're just going to keep up Negate. And if they don't have... And we can also end of the turn, raise the alarm. If they don't have another black source, then we're okay. <clears throat> okay. Da-da-da deal. 
One down. Yep, you got it. Cool, cool jumbo. Yeah, that song, uh, that's something. All right, so now we just have a regular old warship, and now they're going to be like, nature's claim your warship. And I'm going to be like, no. And I'm going to be like, negate. Uh. I mean, now we're not blocking anymore. No way, I'm a, big, I'm a way bigger Ramones fan than Clash fan. God, represent your country, buddy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Actually, the Clash is, is Clash is American, right? I'm thinking of Sex Pistols, aren't I? No, they're UK too. Dang it. Unbelievable. All right, well. This deck could probably use some... No, you don't want Wrath of God because then you kill your own guys. All right, we'll just play this guy. What is the wording of Shaman of the Pack? Let me find it in the chat here. How long ago was that? It didn't feel that long ago. Did anyone maybe it wasn't in the maybe it wasn't in the chat. I don't know. Cause if they target us, this is actually really strong. Oh, is it target opponent? That's gas. Alright, we'll give it a shot. We're gonna take down the negate shield for just for just a moment. Oh, it is target opponent. That's gas. I mean, we probably should have played around collected company first and waited for a six land. That's probably what we should have done. But uh oh. Well, they haven't shown getting an overgrown tomb once with this, so. Okay, you have one card in hand, that's not it. How much mana can you make? Is the question. And what can you do with it? Nothing. Do we get to untap? Seems good. Well, if we get a steal of the godhead, I think we're in good shape. Does he have to have reach? No reachy boys? Okay. Well, this is how we win, guys. This is how we win. Although we do need... Uh, a more efficient win condition than this, I'll be honest with you. I feel like we're putting together a puzzle right now. What is this? Whatever it is, it's getting countered. Are you going to Court of Calling? Because you could have done this last turn. Okay, you're just going to Elvish Clan Caller, sure. This is a lot of clan callers. Where did the other one go? Didn't they activate two? Did they not have one? What's going on? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> uh, we don't have any way to get Dubs Green for Shalai. I don't know if it's relevant. Maybe it's relevant, actually. You get a lot of time. I feel like we're on such thin ice. Such thin ice. Let's remember not to crack any uh, any fetch lands, which is going to be sad if we draw a fetch land right here. You guys ready? That would never happen, right? That's crazy. Huh. Well, we don't have seven. I think this is too expensive, to be quite honest with you. Seven mana seems pretty difficult to get in the 24 land deck. We could attack with both of these and deal seven at some point. 
but I don't think we're there yet. Actually, we could attack with... No, I'm just going to keep double negate up. What is that? Is that bare naked ladies? I have to sign a waiver. I can't tell you if I think it's funny when you're mad. I'm not the smile that I feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs on a funeral. Can't understand when you're mean in the same way. You man, want me? Melt them naturally as your wind comp. 39 turn clock. It's not out of the question, you see. But. <laughs> yeah, always resolve that. You got two collecting companies, brah? I got two nettly I got two negaty boys. So three, four, six, seven. We can actually attack with both and then replay a second Geist of Saint Draft. We're out of negate, so I feel like that's actually pretty decent to do. And then we're basically winning. <clears throat> Come on, you got this. I don't think there are any great all-star videos, just so you know. Play this guy. Alright, we can dodge Shaman. The only thing we can't dodge is a way to deal with a warship. So if they can just draw a blank here, we should win. Gonna F6 here. This deck is amazing. I don't know how this deck ever loses. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, disenchant, tranquility, <laughs> reclamation sage. Okay, Case, listen. Listen, I don't need your logic. And your answers. Alright. So, I like Approach as a card. I don't like it in a 24 land deck in Modern. It's just real expensive. I almost like Greater Oromancy in the main deck better. I also kind of like more Steel of the Godhead and more Geist of Saint Draft. Hmm... I almost like more Angel of Grace instead of Approach. Galactique <laughs> Duress. Oh, God. Why are you the way that you are? Blighted Agent, really? That's what you're going to go with? Blighted Agent? Is there a way to get enchantment cards from your graveyard back to play? Like Academy Rector? Is it like a modern Academy Rector? A race, really? <sighs> okay, so why are you the way that you are? I can't keep Sun. Like, we, we never had seven mana to cast this. It's just, it's in modern, you're like asking to die. I hate it. But, I, it's, I mean, it's just the way it is. Any thoughts on how thematic it is to sit and pray that they don't have an answer to the worship deck? Um, it's on flavor. Does Refurbish do that? That's an artifact. Come on. Get it together, nerds. Oh, Starfield of Nyx? See, that's like one of my favorite cards ever. 
Even if you don't actually get the... Oh, I kind of want... Can we make this a Starfield deck instead? Okay, let's see what we can do here. Like we, I think it's rare that we're going to have enough enchantments to actually attack with them. The problem with Starfield is that it makes your guys... I actually don't think you want to activate this. I don't think you want this to be creatures. I think you just want them to get... I think you just want it to get back, like... I think you're upkeeping return target enchantment card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I, I don't think you... It doesn't matter. The non-aura part doesn't matter. I don't... I, you don't actually want them to be creatures. You don't want to have five enchantments out. You just kind of want to be able to uh, keep returning things. And maybe you want, like, fog or something. Near-death experience. <laughs> I don't think... I don't... That's the card, like, you have no permanence, right? It's that she stands alone. Yeah, you're going to make me hyphenate this, aren't you? If you have exactly one life... Oh, you win the game. Okay. I'm listening. The slow slide into a mono white pajama present deck. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess I have to buy some near death experiences, guys. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Attacar Waste is coming in, boys. I do want to just buy two Greater Oromancies. Because they're only a dollar. Um, What else is there? Near Death. Well, I never thought I'd be buying Near Death, near death Experiences. Okay, so this one costs... 0, 0, 0.05 cents. This promo one costs... 34 cents. Okay, so... The OG it is. Guys, we're doing it. I hope you're all excited about it. Because we're making it happen. Okay, two near-death experiences. <laughs> uh, I want Greater Oromancy in the main deck as well. Shalai doesn't protect your... I think we want one Shalai, because it doesn't protect your... Your enchantments. Greater Oromancy does, however. I think we can take out one of each of these. Or probably just actually... Mm, I think they're both relevant. Add a car wastes. Four of those dudes. We'll take out two basics and two glacials. I don't think we need the Besaju also because it's um we'll add another planes because we're not like trying to resolve instants and sorceries as as, as much. Uh, do you want Remand over Negate? No, because if they're trying to play like a Nature's Claim or something, I just want to be able to counter it. I don't think Remand does anything for our deck. So this is sixty. A lot of five drops. Do we also want talisman? I almost think another Geist of Saint Traft is better than a Shalai, to be honest. Because Geist of St. Traft is three mana. Like, it's three mana. It has Hexproof, which is the important part. Because if you top deck a Shalai, they can just kill it. Like, I'd rather just have four Geists, to be honest. And we have a bunch of, like, one drop and two drop guys. That I'm not really super concerned. Should we run Angel of Grace? I mean, we are. 
if that's what you're referring to, my friend. Starfield of Nyx is good. It gets back near death. It gets back worship. It gets Steel of the Godhead back. I don't know if Steel of the Godhead's really needed, though. Shalai does lift through Anger of the Gods. So does Wall of Omens, though. Yeah, one Shalai. I'm going to take the Steel of the Godheads out. <laughs> Should we run Worship? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All right, maybe we'll, I like Talisman, but I don't really see like what we're gonna what we're gonna take out for it. All right, we'll put one Steel and one Shalai. Okay, well, I'll just look up Godhead. That's gonna be easier, it seems. Maybe one idyllic tutor is fine. Maybe we don't need two. Let's actually add two talisman. We'll take out one. We'll take out one tutor and one one of the other thing. Uh, as far as the sideboard, I don't think we care about selfless spirit. What is the Hodge? What is the um, the renewed faith for? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I actually kind of like Dawn of Hope. I like I like fogs because if they do manage to get rid of our worship, it gives us a turn to like survive. Oh, Dawn of Hope. I thought you meant Dawn Charm. That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of the other Dawn. Uh, prevent all damage. Counter a spell that targets you. The problem is we're not really like, gaining life, but I do kind of like this card. I'm going to try the main deck like this. I think the main deck is good. What is doubling charm? I can't tell if you're trolling me or not. Should I look that up and waste time? You tell me. Um, I do like being able to counter like Rex Sage or Knight of Autumn. What can we do to deal with those? Like Essence Scatter? Is there something better than Essence Scatter? No, don't bother. It's nonsense. Appreciate it. Okay, good. Um... There's got to be a better card than Essence Scatter, right? And I have to be able to... There has to be a better spelling of Essence Scatter than, than the way I spelled it. Oh my god, if it is an Undrem Tuna. Okay. Um, you think this is the worst worship art? This art's great. Come on. Come on. Let's put two Essence Scatter on the sideboard. I don't know what a Durbling Charm is, so you guys might have to... Alright, we're just gonna we're just gonna fill up on counter spells. Okay. Okay, we've made some significant changes here. To Steaming Pile of Donkey Crap dot deck. Looks like Foot Worship. I mean, you know, it is what it is. All right, here we go. Oh no, really? This is how you want to be? Ah, uh, we got serum visions. We can make it work. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I got to bottom both of these. We do have a wall of omens and another draw, so we could hit a third land here. We also have part of the combo. Okay, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now they're like, oh, Adakar wastes. Thought not seers are coming. Okay, another five drop. Now we're looking for here. Uh oh. Oh no.
the sad is a real oh look you did it you got your you got your little combo you got your little combination oh here we go we're having a good time Making that guest paper? That doesn't even make any sense. This is nonsense. Have they hit a single creature yet? <laughs> What's going on right now? Are they just whiffing or is this like the, they just don't have any creatures in their deck and they're just like stacking it? What's actually happening right now? Are they just are they just declining until they find like they just went walking ballista? I mean, for all I know, you didn't put the walking ballista in your deck, my dude. I could have a I could have essence scatter in hand. You don't know. Wow, this is really. This is really something here. It's Wednesday, my dudes. That's true. That is a factual statement. Hey, you found it. Even if we countered this, they could just go find Eternal Witness, get it back, so... They're actually, they're doing it really quickly. I'm really impressed. Okay. Well. That was good times. I had a good time. I'll take the negates out. I'll bring these essence scatters. I just want to play some fair magic and you go on and play some... That guy has played way too much. Yeah, did you see how fast he was making his mana? It's unbelievable. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I didn't even think it was possible because you have to, like, click it to tap and then click it again and then go to the other option to untap it. Like, the smoothness that, that he was doing it, I was actually impressed. That was impressive. Can you have macros set up for Magic Online? That seems like it's almost... That seems like you're breaking the matrix. I will play first. Yeah, I'm game. Feeling alright about this. Turn two talisman dudes. Come on. Or we can go turn two wall into turn three talisman. Or we can just keep a best and scatter into turn three talisman. That's also good. Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. Ain't nobody got time for your little bird. Your little birdie, bro. Ain't nothing gonna hold me. Oh, guys, this ain't draft. Interesting. Uh, Visceracy, yeah. 
Badger, what's going on, my dude? I guess we'll just attack here, right? I think we want one Starfield of Nyx, because there's a lot of times where, like, right now it doesn't do anything. In fact, maybe it's not good at all. I actually thought it was safe to attack. Really? You don't block with the kitchen things, huh? Okay. Well, I guess you have a vizier in hand and you just want to make infinite life like you do. Collected Company is a really pretty pretty ridiculous card, to be honest. Coco Jambo, yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, I don't like this, actually. I thought it was good. I don't think it's as good anymore. Actually don't hate that. Do we actually need the land here? I don't think so. I don't think we need either of these to be honest. I mean I guess we could have gotten the land and then just put them on a two turn clock with Colonnade and Shalai. Oh, they just have another collected company? Sure. Okay. It's not super exciting, but it does give you options. Okay. Hmm. They do have triple birds. Which is a lot, to be clear. They're like Great Aurora Mancy, huh? That's a lot of enchantments you got there. Yeah, all right. So Starfield of Nyx is pretty much a blank. We were we were putting it in hopes that like they're gonna have just like this machine gun feed of uh, enchantment destruction. But um... okay, you're just gonna get Vizier here. Oh, you actually you're two combo pieces away. My bad. Okay. Yikes. Put a card on the bottom. All right, keep whiffing. Sure. I almost regret, uh, yep, there it is. Okay, seems good. I regret playing two cards that this flipped. That was actually probably the mistake we made there. Okay. Let's take out the Starfield of Nyx, which actually lowers our curve a little bit. I do like near-death experience. I think it's pretty cool. Let's add another tutor and probably another talisman, actually.
I did. I did forget to draw worship. That's true. You got to keep on moving. Ain't nothing gonna hurt him up. Shortly, I have a beer tasting to attend. I should be looking forward to heading home and watching the VOD. This has been Gas so far. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it, so. I like most of the modern decks you guys send because there's so much tweaking to be done. Like there's so much there's so much like space in modern that you can actually uh that you can occupy. There's so much tweaking to be done. Your decks are terrible and I have so much work to do. What are you saying about Cryptic Command? What was the Cryptic Command comment? <laughs> needs more Cryptic Command. Every deck I play in Modern needs more Cryptic Command, to be quite honest with you guys. So I've played Archetype. Um, I really like mid-rangey decks. I like decks with lots of interaction where I can play a thing. You can deal with my thing. Um... Disallow's good too. Big fan of your decks. They suck. Big fan. <laughs> oh man, I totally forgot the meme where they were like, hey, say something shitty and then say big fan afterwards. That was actually, wow, that was an old one. What about Alessia Norn on the side? Um, I don't think that's as terrible as it... I, I think that was a kind of a joke suggestion, but maybe it's not. I'm going to put some eye drops in, guys. So uh, enjoy that. Oh, God. These, like... It takes a second to, like... Once you first open them, like you got to really, like, work to get that first drop out. Ooh, I did it. Are we in the right queue here? <laughs> I <Eye> drugs. Why is this taking so long? Are we in the right queue? Come on, man. You can't play modern on MTG Arena. All right, we're playing against America. America. It's okay. They're getting free wins here. Ain't nothing gonna hold me down, oh no. I've got to, oh, they just bajuka bogged us? That's messed up, man. That is messed up. I mean, we could just went off Geist and Steel of the Godhead, right? They took our corbs. That's from, like, Jorbs, but cords, cor cords, cards instead of Jorbs. You know what? Just forget it. Super Mario Maker is coming to Switch? Oh, man. Super Mario Maker is gas. That was like... When we had a Wii U, that was like one of the best games like I have ever played, I think. 
the replayability on on Super Mario Maker was un unreal. Oh, good times, good times. All right. Like all I wanted to do was download Mario levels from the internet and play 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 all like the 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 ridiculous levels that other people made. I might actually pick up a Switch and 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 then Super Mario Maker. Oh, Primeval Titan, huh? Yeah. See you later. Are we dead? I don't know. Probably. Oh, magic. I wish this deck still died. I wish this deck was not still around. Worship off the top one time. That would be pretty gas. I mean, we have what? Four and 50 shot. Four and 51. How much is that? Is that 13? One and 13 chance. That's kind of like a warship. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's a future warship. I've come from the future. Well, that's too bad, isn't it? So we got six, seven. They're gonna have to dedicate four to this guy. So then they have one, two. They can put a land into play. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're dealing six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. They use one to shoot this, two to shoot this. It's actually exactsies, right? Because they use four to pay for the pact. They have two. Two mana here, two mana here, four mana from the Primeval Titan, so it's eight. And that's it. That's like if they don't even play a land for the turn. Ten if they play a land for the turn. Which means they can pump this guy twice. I don't, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to bring in that Essence Scatter again, because I think Essence Scatter is, uh, uh let's say I'm doing some work here. They didn't see anything, so we can take out the Greater Ormancies. I think these might be overkill. I kind of like Ceremonious because it does counter the amulets, but I don't know if that's enough. <gasps> Damping Sphere seems great, right? If a land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces colorless. Oh, that seems insane. Nice. But I mean, like, if you have the Hexproof Troll, like, what's the difference between Hexproof Troll and Geist of St. Traft? Ain't nothing gonna hold me down, oh no. I've got to keep on moving. Why is this song stuck in my head? Does anybody know? Does anyone have the origin story of this song getting stuck in my head? 
I don't know. Do we have to be afraid of a turn two guy? I don't think so. I think we can just run out of talisman here. Oh, Geist of St. Draft. I'll keep both of these. Well, I guess we're only going to be able to keep one. Put you on the bottom. I'll put you on top. That's fine. Old Man Silver, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 13 months in a row. That is a good amount. Double Amulets of Vigor. So, I really kind of want to keep a Essence Scatter, right? I think. Because hmm. the problem is if they play any one of these, they play Amulet with a green, they go any one of these, they go untap it once, untap it twice, that's four mana, six mana. I think we just have to wait here. Yep. Interesting. I don't think I care about that. Like, reason being, if we have a Geist of St. Trapped and a Worship out, there's not much they can do, I don't think. We just have to manage to get, like, one more land to get to the point where we can do that. Because there's plenty of the Cube of Essence Scatter. Land! Oh, boy. Okay, well, we're just going to pass here. And we just hope we don't die here from, uh... <laughs> yeah, with two Essence Scatters, I don't want them to get a third Amulet. That's pretty busted. And that's likely their entire turn. You got it. Okay, we did it. Uh, colorless blue, white, geist. Okay, I think this is actually, I think we're in safe, we're in, we're in a safe space now. Yeah, I'd rather thin the deck like the, the microscopic point five percent chance uh just to get hollow fountain into play tapped and uh take less damage than i think people overestimate deck thinning from one land getting out of the deck yep All right. Okay, so you're literally just putting 
two counters on that dude. So we go to five here if we don't block. We're not blocking for sure. If we can draw one more land, that'd be great. Because I'd like to keep Essence Scatter up. We did not, but we're just going to play Warship anyway. Because I don't think we care about Primeval Titan that much here. Might as well at least try to win. All right, Let's see what happens. Shields are down. Primeval Titan can get. Sure, that's fine. I don't know if there's any like lands you can get that really affect this. Plus two, plus zero, oh, and vigilance doesn't do it, and haste like that doesn't do it. The double strike doesn't do it. Oh, man. Okay. I mean, I guess they could just kill the warship. If they have, like, a an answer to that. Why wouldn't you give this Vigilance and Haste that you're attacking for, like, a million instead of three? Two warships. Seems good. Um, I mean, if we if we deal two to ourselves with wastes in this, we go to five. We can play near death experience. Next turn, we can go to three. The question is, should we just play another warship and be safe? I like tutoring up Steel of the Godhead, I do. And it lets us keep up. Should we actually just pay the life here? I don't know. Like, I mean, if they have one answer to worship, it's pretty bad, right? Could also just play Shalai. I think I'd rather spend five minutes this turn, like, because we're not going to be able to play this this turn. So if we hit another land, we can actually just, um, if we hit another land, we can play this and cast it that turn, which is more important, I think. They have no cards in hand? Fantastic. They're basically dead then. If they boarded in bumping the night, then we just go to we just go to four here instead. Oh, they're gonna give us life with Grove. Wow, that tech. Alright, give us a land so we can actually win normally. Alright, well give us a land so we can actually win normally. Mm, I'll actually keep Angel of Grace here. And we can just play Shalai instead. Oh, they just kill it with Walking Bliss, though. That's pretty bad. I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> What's the difference? Sure. You got it. Please don't be any good lands that can actually hurt us. Thank you. Teleria West and I don't even know. Twister, thank you so much for this. I've been such a great five months. Can't wait for cubes. Me neither. Me neither. 0.5%. That's the difference. Are we talking about, um, wait, what did I say? <laughs> what are you referring to?
What do you search for here? Summoner's Pack to get what? Another Primeval Titan? Like a Rex Sage? Woodfall Primus? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Yep, that was pretty sad. I think we actually had that game if we just literally didn't tap out for stupid Shalai that did nothing. If we actually had Dillic Tutor instead. Yep, that's all we had to do was just cast the wrong spell. And they had to have... They had to have Summoner's Pact into Reclamation Sage that they had to have in their deck. Yep. I don't think there was anything inherently wrong with the deck that time, but... Maybe Greater Ormancy is just not... Maybe you just want more counter spells instead. But, like, what are you going to... Like, what if they if they play Rex Sage, like, Greater Ormancy is great if they play... So discouraging. So discouraging. All we had to do was play the right spell. I ain't even mad at you, Magic. I ain't even mad at you. I guess we just played another Steel of the Godhead. I'm trying to like figure out like, is there any like great cards that we can put in the deck that we can search for maybe with like Idyllic Tutor or My problem is that having three Geists and two Steels, like you're gonna draw Steel and maybe not Geist. Which doesn't feel great. We have three talismans, I like that. Maybe we do just want maybe we just want one essence. Actually, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe we do want cryptic command. <laughs> I just haven't liked Shalai that much. Let's put in two cryptic commands. They're expensive, but maybe they're good. Maybe they're just good enough. Maybe they're just good enough. I will keep this hand. <laughs> We're all in on these warships, boys. Do you want removal enchantments that we can do? Removal enchantments? Um, I could see playing like one detention sphere. The problem is like idyllic tutor is really expensive. Just play the Nexus control list. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? Okay, well. I mean, we played Detention Sphere, right? Like, I wouldn't play O-Ring over Detention Sphere.
Well, they took one warship. That's really sad. All right. Well, are we just going to win with one ones here? Someone has to be. No, no one. Okay. Lands would be nice. 24 lands, 3 talisman, and this is what we're this is what we're working with here, guys. Goodbye, two warships. Where's my Starfield of Nyx now? Yes, obviously you will take the warship. Oh, Sultai, huh? Okay. Well, I don't approve of these M19 lands, but... Beat him down with the shifty mustache, man. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Does Anthem look like a game you play? I don't even know what I don't know what that is, so I couldn't tell you. I could not say. Oh wow, this is aggressive. You're just getting in there with the tarpit. So if they block here, they take three. We still have four guys on board. You probably block Hunted Witness. It's a new Bethesda thing. It looks pretty sweet. How do I not know about this? That makes me sad. Oh, uh, this is Bioware and Electronic Arts. This is not a Bethesda game. Yeah, I was like, there's no way they're gonna make Bethesda's gonna be making this because they're already making the um uh the game called uh Starfield. So Actually, we'll just put you to four, or six, rather. I think this is fine. You don't have lightning bolts, so you can't bolt us here. Of Nyx? <laughs> wow. Wow. That was apt. That was an apt reference in this, uh, this enchantment-based stream. Now you're at six, and I have infinite dudes, and you're already at four from this guy. Or you're basically at two from the angel. So, are we just beating down with one ones against this Mar this Sultai deck? This is actually pretty comical. <clears throat> and we're at basically, <clears throat> not basically, we are at 11 from the lifelink, so. 
the drink went down the wrong pipe. Now we're not having a good time. More like fun ones, am I right? Uh, yeah, okay. I'll give it to you. Okay, one land. Sounds good. What can they do here that saves them? Because they have to block three of these guys. Because the angel's going to deal four by itself. If they have like Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy. Okay, fine. What's the record had to leave? I think it's 1-2 right now, unfortunately. There's been some growing pains with the deck, unfortunately. Fascinating. Well, I'm one mana closer to Cryptic Command. I appreciate that. I will not block. Are you going to, like, Damnation here? This is all very curious. Scavenging Ooze. All right, there is one creature in the graveyard. How are you not dead? I guess you have to have, like, Assassin's Trophy or... So you go to seven... You're taking a four in the air from the angel unless you have a Brup to Care Assassin's Trophy. I will assume you have one of those two. You can block here, eat something, and then we're probably dead. Um, unfortunate. Fatal push. Seems good. Okay, well, that's the game. We could have kept the guy back, but then, like, this guy is still going to be a 4-4, four, four, and then this is 3, so it's still 7. I guess we're going to 8, though. Yep. All right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Never don't have it. Oh, meanwhile, we can't draw a 4th or a 5th land in... Uh, what, what turn was this? 7. All right. Seems good. No, I'll bring an Essence Scatters. I'm more concerned with their creatures than... Anything else? They got the Organcies. I think near death, near death, death experiences ended up being a little too cute, unfortunately. Junior? Okay, we did it. Perfect timing. What is it with these hands? Four drop, four drops, four drop, four drop, three drop, two lands. Sure. This is really weird. Like, for 24 lands and three talismans, like... I mean, they also managed to double 
double thought sees our negates or our warships last turn, last game. So, I don't know. Wasn't really uh, great for us. Uh, definitely not blue white modern humans. Definitely not blue white modern humans. Engine and explosives for one, sure. That's kind of weird. Bottom, definitely gonna top that. I kind of like just keeping essence here, essence or uh, worship here rather, because hitting a land is nice with a worship out. Constructive criticism: This deck sucks. Play something else. Is that constructive though? Is it? Hajigulashi actually knows that. He actually mentioned that when he submitted the deck and it was even called a steaming pile of donkey crap <clears throat> field of ruin my field of ruin all right new get new gentleman thank you so much for watching really appreciate it have a good afternoon or night or uh you know whatever whatever uh time you want to have all right well we can't hit a fourth land but we can hit a talisman, which is basically a fourth land. You should be so lucky. Back in my day. We do have this Angel of Grace in the graveyard, so we can uh, toss our life total up to, up to ten if we any plans to play Chaos Draft? Is that on Magic Online? My answer is no. I have no plans to do that. Oh, it is. Look at that. I don't know. It might be fun on Magic Online. In real life, it's always like, oh, I got the cold snap pack. Great. Hmm. Could toss out a worship. We could just see our vision. I mean, worship doesn't get hit by anything really. I mean, it gets hit by Rex Sage and like Assassin's Trophy, but it dodges Abrupt Decay, it dodges lots of things. Tron is not a cool... God dang it. I never said that. <clears throat> sure. Take all the things. Ugh. Um, bottom this guy. We'll just put the land on top. I just want lands at this point. Right. No real reason, but four lands is not enough for us to function on. We also have things to do, so.
Would you be interested in another commander deck? I promise this time you should win at least hopefully a game, but no promise. <laughs> I promise you should win at least the game, but no promises. Yes, I'm actually, I would I would definitely do that. I haven't played commander in a little bit. In a spell. What did they get rid of? The token? So the engineer explosives then killed the token? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's your boy, Kerwit. Oh, it gave them it gave them their fourth type, which was an instant, so that makes sense. Traverse the Elvenwald, what are you getting here? You get a land or a creature of any type. What's it gonna be? A reclamation sage. The most popular creature in modern, ladies and gentlemen. Tarmogoyf? Sure. All right, well. Oh boy. Ishkana? What is even happening? They lose one life for each party control? Oh shit. Oh my God. What is even happening, dude? Oh my god. Oh my god. We have no way to deal with this, right? Seal the Godhead off the top would be great. But instead it's going to be an idyllic tutor, which leaves us one shy of casting it. Second warship. How much does it cost to activate? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. They can activate it once next turn and deal us four. That is a yikes for me, dog. They bring in the Ishkana for the, like, the, uh, that's the warship tech. I guess we could have just played the worship. We take four and four, right? So we go to one. We go to one. The problem is we just literally have to block this guy every time because otherwise they just kill it. Otherwise, then we go to four and they just kill us with this Kana, So. Don't even want to play that because cracking and putting us to eight is literally dead. They go four and four. Yep. Go to five. Yeah, I think they should have alpha here, but maybe not. I 
Actually, putting us to six is nice because now we can crack this and then we can Angel of Grace. Because now we can go to five and then we're not then we're not dead here, so. Okay, well. Well, I don't think that does anything. <clears throat> but they're gonna actually activate Ishkana and we're gonna Angel of Grace after they after it resolves. People here just get it. <laughs> Blend a pizza into a batter, then fry it like a pancake. None of these things are okay. Oh. Uh, Worship says if damage would be dealt to you. It doesn't have, not, not combat damage. If you control a creature, damage that will reduce your life total to one reduces it to zero instead. So this is life loss. This is not damage. They're two different things. I mean, we crushed with the Warship in the Elves deck. We got to use an Angel of Grace. I feel pretty successful. I feel like we were scratching off the bucket list slowly but surely. Oh, look at this. Look at this aggressiveness. I will take two. This is interesting. I wonder if we took it and then just attacked back. If we now they can block Geist with Creeping Tar Pit. They don't gain life from this, right? No, that's okay. Seems fine. I mean, yeah, we could we could draw Idyllic Tutor or Steel of the Godhead here, and it would be pretty epic. One time. We have two blocks now. Block here, block here. We take a million, and then they can just activate Ishkana. Yeah, we're dead. Let's see what the next card was. They're going to dump us out into the, the lobby because that's what this program does. I think we only had one and one. I don't think it's actually... Uh... Yeah, I don't think I love near-death experience. I think we want to... I think Worship and Geist of St. Traft is like the plan we want to be on. I don't know. Feels better. Tormenting 2x, would you be willing to pick one and surprise me by saying both lists? Yeah, sure. Of course. I will be the one who... We get one more slot. Uh, I like Talisman less now that we're not playing uh, near-death experience. I can't believe I bought those near-death experiences for nothing. Maybe we just want more. Maybe we just want a 25th land. It definitely feels like this deck could use a 25th land. Cassius, have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good class. Do you have a full power play set? What do you mean? Do you mean like, do I have power on Moto? Because yes. I can make all the vintage decks. Um, Hot 
Hot take, people need to eat more bugs. Okay, well, that's a... That is quite the hot take, my friend. Hmm... Oh, four black? No, why would you ever need that? That's not a playset, though, because you can't play with that. The playset would be one of each. <laughs> oh, good times. What's that new card? <laughs> What's that new card, guys? You guys know that new card? That new one? The plus one, plus O, oh, and, like, indestructible card? Puts counters on all your dudes. Nettle Sentinel, that's the one. Nailed it. I don't think it's indomitable anything. I don't think that's correct. Um, Unbreakable. Oh my god. Nailed it, T. Higgs. Nailed it. They gain indestructible. If you cast a spell in your main phase, put a 1-1 -on -one counter on each of those creatures they can vigilance. That's actually not terrible with all these nerds. The problem is... I'm really worried about the warships getting killed. That's what I'm worried about. How can we prevent that other than, like, Greater Oromancy? Oh, Spaghetti Toucher. Thank you so much, man. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, man. All I saw was T. Higgs. I'm sorry, guys. You guys both nailed it. Heroic Intervention is not white or blue. What about Dawnbringer Charioteer is 2-4 four for 4? Oh, yes. Indestructible targets enchantments. What does that mean? The Indestructible the card? Isn't it like a four mana enchantment though? I mean, privileged position is fine, but like greater ormancy is just better at that point, right? I mean. It's two mana instead of five mana. I'm I'm less about the memes right now, and I'm more about the uh, the winning the games. Just throw in one Avicen. Oh my god! Uh, Apostle is creature, right? Artifact or creature. Dang it, why can't you just include a stupid a stupid encham a stupid enchantment, you idiot? God. We need two cards, guys. I don't know what they are. Might just be spell pierce. Why don't you just put in spell pierce? It doesn't stop Rex Sage or Crypt or co Collected Company into Rex Sage or Court of Calling into Rex Sage. It's Mana Leak. An RH. I can't tell if that's just a meme. Like if you're just doing a D's nuts on me right now. So disallow is not bad. All right, two disallow. That'll do, pig. Okay, and we have twenty-five lands, so I feel a little better about that. All right. Uh, 
let us do it. Oh, ruined Halo. Confusion intended. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, RH. What is the hell's RH? Oh, God. Wrecked him? I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh, I kind of like Nimble Obstructionist even better. It's kind of like a disallow, but also it's kind of like a creature that you might might want for, you know, keeping your keeping your babies alive. Opening on basic mountain, I'm probably just gonna take as little damage as I can. Uh, I will be the one who How is Babby formed? Oh, Spellskite. Okay, see, that's a good. Okay, I like that a lot. Spellskite's coming in. Oh, yeah, so we're bringing in two Spellskites. That was it. That was the missing piece. Okay, I feel like we've just actually auto won against this deck, so uh, that's pretty okay with me. Nice. I'm waiting for the delivery of my second 32-inch monitor from my home desk, and I'm stoked for it. I love deliveries like that, my dude. You playing on that Mitchell Championship thing? No, they didn't invite me. They did not invite me. What can you do? They didn't invite me. Yeah, well, I bet they didn't invite anybody from our Discord. They invited me, but I had plans that weekend. Trust me, pernicious dude. I know you. And you would have canceled your plans because you just make $7,500 immediately just for being in the event. So I'm pretty sure you would have made time. Grind out to the top eight of Mythic on Arena and get your invite. Yeah, that's a real easy thing to do. Theoretically, it's possible, but it's so hard to maintain, right? Because you'll be like, oh, I went to sleep. When I went to bed last night, I was in seventh. When I woke up, I was 112th. Because that, like, just, you have to, it's such luck. You just have to grind until the until the very last minute. And you're competing with everyone else's who is grinding from the very, until the very last minute. And it's just, it gets, it gets to be exhausting. You got a good sleeping, bro. There's your problem. That is my problem. I hear that a lot, actually. People are like, hey, you, you sleeping again? This is two nights in a row that you've slept. Devastating summons. Did they not sacrifice any lands? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, well, that's not going to do what you wanted to do. I'm pretty sure we just won this game, so. Frank Club's got shot. Luke, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always a pleasure. Always good seeing you, buddy. Oh, all right. Guess we won. Seems good. 
probably want renewed faith over disallows here. Well, this hand would be great if we didn't have 25 lands and one land in this hand. So I'm going to mulligan it. This is probably better. We can cycle this guy. You know what? You can stay. Hold on one second, guys. I want to do something real quick. And what do they got? Goblin Guide. They gave us a land. That's pretty cool. <sighs> What's the best way not to die here? Probably just cycling Renewed Faith, right? And then if we can draw, like, um, Geist of St. Draft into Warship, I think we're probably pretty good. All right, they're, they're living off of one. Hmm. Should have actually renewed faith in response. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we actually want to renewed faith or if we want to just actually... Two, four, six. So we're going to go to 10. If we gain two, we go to 12. And that doesn't... I think it's actually fine to cycle here. Which means we should have actually done so um, in response. So that if we hit this land... It's not a land. Okay, I feel better about that then. Uh, Cryptic Command, another Warship. I think we're good on lands. I think we can keep Cryptic Command. Okay, I think we're actually okay here. We can block one of these guys. We'll take three to four damage this turn. And then we should have... Yep, okay, actually, if they... Uh, if they do a little bursting... Okay, that's not bursting. Bursting makes me feel good. We can also take out the Attacar Waste because we're not trying to... Uh, we're not trying to near-death experience anymore. All right, well, if they can't defeat a Wall of Omens, feeling all right. Especially... I has a sad. I has what's known as a sad. That's a yikes for me, dog. That is a that is one yikes from me. Um, okay, so we have Geist and Seal the Godhead. Yeah, Snap Keep. Wall of Omens should hit us a third land. I mean, we have, we have the, the draw for the turn, the Wall of Omens, and the draw for the next turn. So we have 
Top three cards have to be a land in our 25 card deck. One of them was. That's pretty good. Okay, now we don't even have to take damage. Alright, this should be game. <laughs> he said. Maybe it's not game, actually. I mean, there's a lot of things they can play here. Like another Burning Tremissary into another Reckless Bushwhacker is pretty terrible for us. Okay, that's probably not the worst because they don't also have... Actually, if they Goblin Grenade here, it's pretty rough. Which they're going to do. Yeah. I remember that time I was like, that's going to be game. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We go to six. We gain four from this guy, so we go to ten, and then they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we can top take a warship here, I think we're great. We did not. We can gain six. We can also just not attack, right? Block something. Wow, this is an aggressive deck, and uh, I do not know how I feel about it. I mean, to be fair, I feel bad about it. That guy doesn't have haste, but it will once they play the last card, which is undoubtedly... Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to four here. Okay. It seems okay. We're not dead. Oh, fucking Christ. Un fucking unbelievable. All right, and on that note, I think we're going to shelve this bad boy for now. We're going to put all four glacials in here. We'll take out the Attic Car Wastes. And then we'll just add, like, one more planes, I suppose. Wow. Yep, that's awesome. Uh, anyway, this is, I think this is probably a better version of the X. Spellscape also would have been fine instead of something like... Um, Actually, Greater Ormans. We can actually take the Greater Ormans out for Spellskites, I think. Because they're just basically doing the same the same or a very similar thing. And then we still get two slots. Probably two Disallows. Okay. This will be the final version of the deck that I think we're going to go with. But, um, yeah. Uh, that was pretty rough. I did enjoy our first match that we ended up winning spectacularly. But I think Spellskites actually going to help keep Worship alive. It's going to help hold down the fort while you're while you're trying to to die to not die you could play approach in the deck like we were the the initial deck had approach in it but the problem with approach is that you don't really have a way to you don't have a way to get up to seven lands efficiently and modern is not a seven land format unless you're playing like i don't know amulet or uh tron for example which is not a, not a fun deck. It's actually a miserable deck. So, But either way, thank you guys for watching. If you want to have your own decks critique, definitely check out my Twitch or my Patreon page. Links are in the description below. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending this particular video. And uh, you can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. So definitely do that if you're looking for a way to support the stream outside of like subscribing or following or donating or whatever. It's just a great... You get something out of it. It's super comfortable. And then I get a kickback. So it's it, it works for everybody. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.